Hello, this is Kelly with Indian Anchor Plans. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to go through and share with you some of the single pages and little um, like journals that I've put together over the years since I started planning in 2018 to maybe give you some ideas of things that you can do with your stickers besides just putting, it, putting them in your weekly spreads and monthly spreads for your planner. So I've got four different, um, I guess they're not really planners, but books I've put together. One for road trips and weekend getaways. Um, this one was a vacation one that um, that I did. This one is um, trackers and goal sheets for this year. And these are past trackers, bucket lists, and fun pages. So, um, and then I've got a couple that I'm working on right now. But I'll go ahead and show you these real quick. They're not done. I've just started them because um, I am on staycation right now. So this is the cover. And then like I will put day one, day two, and just go through. And um, I didn't go ahead and section them out because I don't know what I'm doing on each day and how many pictures I'll take and that kind of thing. Yet I have a general idea of what I'm doing, but you know, things are always um, subject to change. So that is that, and I will be filming that when I decide to fill that out. And this I did, five of my seven grandkids will be playing fall ball that starts this coming Sunday and goes for six weeks. They only play on Sundays. So I created this cover page and then on this page, I want to get pictures of them individually in their uniforms and put here. And then I did a page for each Sunday that they will play. And whatever pictures I take is what will go on those pages. And then I'll do some journaling as well. Um, like if they had um, a good hit or if they caught a ball in the outfield or something funny happened or, you know, whatever. So, um, but I do have a video um, creating the basics for this. Put that aside. So let's see. Let's start with this one. This one, if you've watched my um, my tracker update videos or my planner weeks and reviews videos, then you've seen some of these already. Um, this is my weight tracker for this year. And although I really need to lose about 25 pounds, as you can tell, I'm not trying very hard or at all. <laughs> Um, this is a restaurant bucket list that I just created. Um, I believe there is a um, create with me video for this one. Except for in that video, I only did the one side. And so then later I ended up, because I ended up with a few more restaurants. So I, I did the back cover as well. And then these are my goal sheets. So this is my 24 and 2024. Um, I've not been able to um, mark a lot of those off, but I've, I've marked a few of them off. And some of them I won't be able to do until the end of the year anyway. But, and then these are my basic goals for 2024. Um, so, my self-care, um, giving back, time with family, time with friends, and extra mortgage payments. This got changed a little bit because I had to take some of the money um, that I probably would have put towards extra mortgage payments and had to use it for something else. So, um, although I am still paying extra this year, just not as much as I probably would have otherwise. And then I did a page for each month for each, and then had a section for each category. So then I could just jot down what I did each month in those, in those categories. So that was January, February,
and I just used various filler papers and stickers from different sticker books and my shop and it's June, July, and being single now, I have lots of me time. So I don't have much of a social life. So, and that was July, and then we're into August. So I will fill this out at the beginning of September. So we have August, September. I love this one. October, November. And I don't remember if I did a plan with me or create with me um, for these pages or not. I don't remember. Okay, and then this is for uh, my business, for my sticker shop. So this is my customer tracker. I get um, the map and the state stickers from Caffeine Queens on Etsy. So I think I still have five states left that I need to get because there's a couple in here I think I put the wrong state in the wrong place no maybe not because I've got this one this one this one and then those two so we'll, we'll we will see if I can get that done by the end of the year I think I was only three states short last year so then the year before that I had one from every state but I didn't do a tracker that year so I may have to get an extra one if I order one this year and fill it out for 2022. So, and then this is my goals for, um, overall goals for Indiana Inker plans since I started it in 2021. And then this, I keep track of my total orders, total sales, um, and this is since the beginning this is just monthly for this year and this is my social media on how it's growing or declining for the year and i fill all of those out at the first of every month this i just keep track of where my what states my customers come from each month and then this is from um one of Caliba Plans planners. And so I just keep track of the um, the sales that I have each month in my shop. And then this is how many orders I had each day. And then these are my money trackers. So these stickers, I've had the stickers in the shop for a while. They were on a small sheet, but I just came out with them on the um, punchable sheet. So they are available in the shop. I can just put those in there and have them ready. And then I messed up last month. Um, but anyway, I'm putting down my extra mortgage payments. And then I keep track of um, when my mortgage is going to be paid off. So I've already made that payment. I just haven't marked it yet. And so my loan originally was due to pay be paid off in December of 2050. Now I will have it paid off in January of 2047. So I've knocked off what, almost four years. So that's not too bad. And then my thousand dollar savings tracker, I'm not in a hurry to save this. So I'm only pulling out like $15 a pay period and putting toward that. So like $30 a month which is fine with me. And then I did steps trackers and weather trackers and water trackers and I hydrate trackers. I had them all printed out. I don't keep track of that. So it was a nice idea, but I didn't keep up with it. So then this is one that I've done over the years. So I did an emergency contacts page and then I did like a family birthdays booklet so I did two months per page so 
September is a busy month. And um, my ex-boyfriend's family's birthdays are still in here. So that's part of why that's a busy month. So November is our biggest, um, my biggest month. Four of the five of those are, are my grandkids. So, um, or my side of the family. So, and then these are my single sheets for so far this year. And I don't remember which ones I did videos on and which I didn't. So if you just scroll back through or go to my single pages um, playlist, we'll be able to find them. But I did trade my blazer in, which I was very sad about, and got an Equinox. I like the payment better, but not the vehicle. And then we had the solar eclipse this year, which was really cool. They did let us off work early so that we could come home and and get to partake in that. So that was pretty cool. That page didn't turn out as I really had it envisioned in my head, but it still documented the memory. So that's the main thing. Then we had an evening at the races. Um, my dad's wife and three of my grandkids and um, both of my daughters and their families were there and then this one I think just my dad's wife and I went and yes technically she is my stepmom but she's my age so she's my dad's wife so then this is my staycation um, journal that I did for earlier this year so that was the front cover And then I just put the dates for this year. I made stickers that I'm going to do day one, day two, day three. So. so this was fun. I enjoyed doing this one, obviously, since I'm doing it again for this one. And when I was on staycation in, um, I think last December, maybe, I posted every day on Facebook my staycation mug of the day. And I had several people comment on that. And um, so when I went on staycation in April, I had two or three people ask me if I was going to do that again. So I did and ended up um, having the pictures printed and, and doing a page for that. And then we had my water leak. Um, I had a, a water leak in my, this is my front closet and my front bedroom where my sticker shop is is on the other side of that wall and um I went in to get ready for work one morning and heard this noise and walked in there and started stepping in puddles <laughs> so that was not good luckily I knew the right people in the right places and was able to get um the leak stopped and the water extracted fairly quickly so I didn't have any permanent damage so that that was wonderful but so not a fun day. So, and then, um, let's see. Oh, that was just part of the mess after pulling everything out of the closet and out of the bedroom and all of that. So, and then, um, the Indy 500 obviously is in Indianapolis, um, in May. And we have a local speedway and they do a little 500 race every year. And so my son and I went, um, or my son went with me, but then um, my girls and their families were there as well. So that was pretty cool. And then I just made a little pocket on the back to put the tickets in. And then... Um, my ex-boyfriend was here in May, because we still get along, we're still friends. Um, and so we went to a Reds game while he was here. And then my oldest grandson graduated from sixth grade. So I did a page for that. And put a pocket on the back to put his little program in there. Then I did a back to school page for the kids. They just went back to school last week, week before. Um, and I did do a um, create with me for this. 
And then for last year, this was my customer tracker for last year. And so I still was missing a few, a few states from there. And this is another one, like the one for this year, that I did a pocket on the back to put the state stickers on, or in. And then this was my social media tracker for last year. I ran out of R's and had to use one with foil in it. You just improvise. And then I did a sheet for Black Friday sales for last year. So that was pretty fun. And then I did a summer sticker hunt. And these were the stickers that you were supposed to find for the coordinating days. So I did pretty well, except for the 19th and the 28th. What were they? Oh, a lighthouse and a seahorse. I think I was just gonna look one up on of each of them on um, Google and print them out, but I never did that, obviously. And then I did a sheet for all of the things that I'm thankful for. And I did put the fox in there because I had, I think it was three fox that would come and just lounge in my backyard last year. And they were just so pretty and so fun to watch. The rest of all of those are pretty self-explanatory, but that was a fun sheet to create. Fall festivals, I had a, oh, that one's got some smudge on it. Um, I had a friend and I that were going to go to several fall festivals last year, so I created the page, and we only ended up going to a couple, well, he and I only ended up going to one, and then one of my other friends and I went to another one, and that was it. So I definitely need more friends. Then my daughter and I went to a fundraising gala, so that was fun. Um, oh no, this is the first one that I went to last year. And one of my, um, she's um, a founder of a local organization. She went with me to that. And this is my oldest daughter and she did my hair. And I, um, most of you know that I work for Coca-Cola and we were one of the big sponsors for that event. And then I started a steps tracker. I'm horrible at, at keeping track of that stuff. And then I did for Indiana sunsets. My house faces west, so um, I get to see some really beautiful sunsets. So I decided to start having bigger pictures printed for those and do some single sheets for those. And then this was the first, the boys' first game of this season last year, and it was cold out. So I was going to put their names underneath there. I need to add those stickers. And then um, my next to youngest grandson came to spend some time with me, so I did a single page for that. And then this is my youngest grandson. They are just so fun at that stage, the toddler stage. They're three and four now and still just so fun. And then I did a drink more water challenge or a drink more water tracker. And you can tell I didn't fill a bit of that out, but the stickers and everything were in my shop. I'm not sure if I've discontinued those or if they're still available. And then a long weekend, as you can tell, I filled it out and didn't do anything with it. Then for 2021, I did a birthday freebies tracker because um, I was getting so many different um, birthday freebie offers that I wanted to keep track of them and track the ones that I actually took advantage of. Um, I only took advantage of, what, three of them, four of them, but my birthday is two days after Christmas, so it's hard to get 
some of these in with all of the celebrations and all of the days that places are closed and um, the family events and the, you know, all the things. So, um, so I don't get to take advantage of a lot of my birthday freebies. And then I did a package tracker, which I didn't keep up with that either. All of these are fun to create. I'm just not real good at keeping up with them. It's got something sticky on there. I'll have to take care of that too. And then the best of 2021. Like I've said many times before, my life is so boring. Um, but my brother came to visit. Um, my youngest grandson was born. I opened my sticker shop. And I leased my blazer that year. So those were the highlights of my year. I pretty much go to work and come home. It is about, about my life most of the time. This was my word of the year, which was progress. And I don't tend to reflect on my word of the year throughout the year. So I probably won't do one um, in 2025. I just don't seem to... I. I enjoy creating the pages and all of that for it, but then don't really refer back to it much. And then I did a fall bucket list that I didn't do anything with. I think this was, what was this? This was 2021. So this was during COVID. So there was a lot of stuff that just wasn't open or it was just more complicated to do than it was worth. Um, so, cause I think all the fall festivals were, um, didn't happen. Um, the pumpkin, pumpkin patches, I think, were closed. All the restaurants were, were closed for eat-in dining. Um, some of these other things um, I could have done or may have done and just didn't um, cook dinner together. We did do that. Donate to a family in need. I know I did that. Um, this is go out for pumpkin spice latte. I don't drink those and I'm not a big Starbucks fan. So um, I don't usually go out for morning drinks. But eat pumpkin pie, I probably did that. Or a sugar cream pie or something. Um, drive through the country back roads, probably did not do that. Watch a fall movie, may have done that, don't remember. And that was the summer bucket list. Same thing. Um, most of these things were, um, I guess we could have gone on a picnic. We had planned to go um, to that racetrack and to the ballpark. But since it was COVID, um, those were not options. Um, probably did soak up some sun. We may have taken a road trip. But with everything being closed, I'm not sure that we did. Um, have a barbecue. Probably just the two of us we did. Farmers markets, I don't think they had those going. I'm sure we went for ice cream, even if it was just through the drive up. So we didn't have a garage sale. Then this was my youngest grandson when he was born. And this is when I got my new blazer. And then 2020. My next youngest grandson was born. And then 2020 positives. Um, again, I didn't have a whole lot go on and a lot of it was because it was COVID and a lot of it was because my life's just pretty boring. Um, I was in a relationship at the time, so I think COVID was the biggest culprit of not doing much that year. Um, my next youngest grandson was born. Um, I was very thankful that I was an essential worker during, during the pandemic. So, uh, my job was not interrupted at all. And I purchased my condo that year. And this was my vision board in 2020. Um, I did get a new condo, but it was nothing like that. Um, I've not gotten married, um, I don't really get to spend more time with um, with my family and friends um, just because they are all 
so busy that it's hard to get our schedules to coordinate. Um, have a work for home, from home job or can live my life while making a living. And I'm still not doing that. Um, GMC Acadia. I love the GMC Acadias. I just can't justify the monthly payment with no more than I drive. But maybe one of these days. Then my word of the year for 2020 was focus. This was my fall bucket list. And I did check off a few of those. And some of those I'm pretty sure I did and I just didn't check them off. Now, this is my cholesterol tracker. Um, I did over a three month period get my cholesterol down from where I needed meds to where I did not need meds. So because I opted to not take the meds and she told me she would give me three months to get it down. And um, so I did and I got them in normal range. Um, so I didn't have to have the meds. And then it wasn't long and it was, it was back to where um, it was before. But anyway, I think it's kind of under control now. Then this was from, what sticker book was this from? Stronger Together maybe? And they had a... Um, Acts of Kindness page. So I did those and I've done some of these. I just didn't check them off. Then there's the 20 and 2020 um, things that I wanted to do. Not very goal oriented either, I guess. And then my 2020 big goals. Get my cholesterol numbers down, more time with family, more experiences, lose, I wanted to lose 10 pounds, then now I need to lose 25. Grow my color street business, I ended up closing it because they changed some of the processes and things. Find my dream job, I still haven't done that. I don't hate my job, but it's definitely not fulfilling. And let's see, a 2020 bucket list, and we didn't get to do any of those. I created this before, um before COVID started. And so a lot of those things were just not an option. And then I did my credit score tracking. Um, and as you can see, I didn't keep up with that. But, and this was our weight trackers. We didn't keep up with that either. And because of COVID, I did um, a page of things that I miss. So eating out, going on getaways, going shopping, road trips, family time, dinner with friends, um, the Reds games, my two granddaughters softball because the boys weren't playing yet. And um, we used to do um, go like on um, where we would hit several of the Hobby Lobbies and especially if things were on clearance, then we would go to several of the area um, Hobby Lobbies all in one day and see what all I could find. And then I did one on COVID-19 on different things. Like the NCAA was canceled, schools were closed. Um, the ISHAA was canceled, stores were closed, restaurants were drive-up, carry-out only, colleges went to online classes, NASCAR season was delayed, craft stores were either closed or curbside pickup, and we had the stay-at-home order, um, small businesses were closed, high school and college graduations were canceled, uh, my granddaughter's um, softball season was delayed. Baseball season was delayed. There was a toilet paper craze. It started on March 13th of 2020. Seems like it never ended. And then I did, um, since I really couldn't do a spring bucket list, I just kind of did a, a spring page. Um, and the summer loving, I 
Um, I'm not sure if I did. I think I probably did that um, after COVID started. Just pulled some stuff from one of the sticker books. So we did have a barbecue, and that was about the extent of it. And then I did um, my favorite things page. That was pretty fun. And that was the sticker book list. And as we know, it has grown a lot since then. Because they had 189 books then. So I'm not sure how many they have now, but I know it's well over 300. So um, probably closer to 500 if I was to guess. And these were from 2019. This was a sticker sheet from Brianna Nicole Designs. And um, we did do a few of these things for a fall date night. And then my winter bucket list, I did several of those. I didn't end up getting any mistletoe that year. I did get some the next year, though, and we did hang it up. And then these were things I was thankful for. My pen pals, I still have two pen pals that um, we started writing to each other when we were teenagers back in 1980. So um, if, you're, if you're old enough to remember the Teen Beat and the Tiger Beat magazines where they had the pen pal options and things in there, um, when I was in high school and started that, I had um, over 30 pen pals that I was writing to regularly. And... Um, out of all of those, I still have the two. They're both here in the United States, and I, and I have met both of them. Supposed to have plans to meet up with one of them um, in the fall, so we'll see if that happens. Then I did a fall bucket list and either didn't do those things or just didn't fill it out. And then my, um, my boyfriend at the time was a Broncos fan, so I filled out the... The schedule and then I didn't end up finishing it and then my word of the year was create to create a happy life and even though I tend to make changes it seems like nothing really changes um, so I guess I'm not making big enough changes I don't know so then um, our one of the goals for 2019 was um, to save all of our change, which we did that. Um, and I did do a tracker for that as well. Um, move or remodel. I'm not sure if I did any remodeling that year or not, but I ended up moving the next year. And then the side hustle. I was doing color shoot at the time and I needed to lose 15 pounds. We see we're, we're going the wrong direction because I needed to lose 10. <coughs> Excuse me. And then 15. Now we're up to 25. Let me get a drink real quick. So this was the change tracker that that I created. And these little coin stickers I have had for years. For, I had those back when I was doing my scrapbooking days. And so I forgot to, to do December and come up with a total. But we took all that money and put it in a vacation, in our vacation fund. And then I did my weight loss tracker. And I lost a whole pound total during the year. And then Christmas savings. I pull $50 out of every, every paycheck to put back for Christmas and birthdays. And then one of my goals for that year was to make handmade cards for everyone's birthdays. And um, I think I ended up doing that, but I don't remember for sure. And then I did my credit score tracker. And I don't remember who, um, Create with Danielle maybe, is the one that had the credit score trackers. And then my spring bucket list. You can see how my planning style has changed a little bit from then to now. 
but not a whole lot. And my summer bucket list. We didn't do very many of those things or I just didn't keep up with it. YouTube subscribers. I didn't keep track of when. So I must have started my YouTube channel in April of 2019. And then I stopped when I moved here in November of 2020 and then started it back up again last year. So, and I'm still only up to right around 400. So if it doesn't reach 500 by the end of the year, then I really need to just stop. But we will see. Now this, I like the um, the washi, and but I don't know, I don't, it needs boxes or it needs, needs something because I don't like this page at all. But it was a neat thing to track. Um, cause if we really liked it, it got five pizzas if, um, so just kind of, um, and these little pizza stickers were from Triple Planner Girl and she's no longer in business. And then I did an in memory of page, um, cause I have lost my mom and both sets of my grandparents. So I did, um, their birth dates and the dates that they passed away. And so then I did my mom in the middle, and then I did her parents, and then my dad's parents. And that was just a project goal sheet. That was my original birthday tracker. And this was 2018. And my fall bucket list. And I don't really do bucket lists anymore. And then a Christmas bucket list. And then I kept track of the donations that I did throughout the year. Uh, my Etsy orders. So that was before I started my shop. My online orders in general. What was this? Oh, we did a donuts and cookies and ice cream tracker. So, um, as you can tell, I was bored because who would think to, to track of this stuff? But um, anyway, so then I just put whatever sticker went when we had um, cookies or ice cream. Or donuts. And then uh, my staycation. I did a, um, a tracker of things I wanted to do while I was off. And didn't end up doing very many of those. And then this was another staycation. I'm not sure if that's what I did or what I wanted to do. I think those are things I wanted to do. And then these are just extra trackers and, and things that I have printed off. That I didn't do anything with. And then this was a vacation... Um, I created this because I thought maybe we would take more than one vacation, which we did not. And we only took the one. Um, I created a, a packing list that I forgot to use. And we went to Arizona for a week because his daughters live out there. And so we stayed with his oldest daughter. And so I kind of did a page for each day because we flew out there on Saturday. My writing is horrible, but oh, those were our airline tickets because we flew back. I think we flew back on Friday. Yeah, we flew back on Friday. 
because I'm not one that likes to be gone from Saturday to a week later on Sunday and then go back to work on Monday. That's just way too much for me. But his daughter was going to school in Flagstaff, and so we went and picked her up, along, and his other daughter and her family um, went as well. And we drove to the Grand Canyon and stayed all night there. And his grandson had been born just a couple of months. Well, I guess he was five months old maybe when we were there. Went to a really neat zoo out there. That wasn't too far from Phoenix. Because that's where his older daughter lived was close to Phoenix. And pictures from the plane, his grandson, and we did, um, went to the casino and, and bowled. We didn't do any gambling or anything, but um, anyway, so that is all of that. And then I still have plenty of pages in here for if I ever go on another vacation. I'm not a big traveler anyway, but I did enjoy that trip. And then we did do several um, weekend getaways and road trips. So, these were 2019. We went to the local Little 500. Then we went to a Reds game. And I just did these um, collages in the app called PhotoGrid. And had them printed out at Walgreens and at, in a 4x6. And I just adhered it to a piece of scrapbook paper or cardstock. Then we went to an Indianapolis Indians game. Then we did do a weekend getaway to um, Ken, um, Newport, Kentucky, where we went to the aquarium, and then we went to a Reds game. And so on this one, I did a flip out on that. So that was fun. And then we went um, to Connor Prairie, which is local here. And they had a historic baseball day that he wanted to go to. So we went to that, and that was pretty cool. And then we went to an, another um, local speed track, race track. It's not in our local town, but it's not too far from us. So we went there for a race. Then we went to another local racetrack in Indianapolis um, for an ARCA race. And then I put this folder in here to put all of our tickets and everything in. And then in 2020, um, we went to um, a local racetrack. As you can tell, it's racing and baseball for the most part. And then we went to the Little 500 here locally here in town. And then one of my granddaughter's baseball tournaments with her travel team. And they won the championship. They won several championships that year, but that was the only one that I was at. And then for 2021, this was a little 500 at the local racetrack again. And then we went to Cincinnati um, for an overnight Trip and went to a Reds game into the Cincinnati Zoo. And that's where we stayed. Some of the pictures from when we were walking around. The baseball game. The zoo. And then these were our tickets for the year. Then in 2022, again, the little 500. And that's all I have in here for 2022. Then I did the pocket on the back for the tickets. So anyway, that's a review of most of my single pages and things. Every once in a while, I'll do a single page when I have an event that, that went on, and I'll just stick it inside the week in my planner for that week. Uh, most of the time, I'll put it in one of these books, though. So 
Anyway, I hope you got some ideas from me flipping through all of these that I've done over the years. And if you have any ideas for single pages, um, put them in the comments. I love doing single pages. I think they are so fun. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. So if so, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.